Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the therapeutic application of the corticosteroid or simply called steroids. So we have two types of steroids, the glucocorticoids and the mineralocorticoids. They are formed from the adrenal cortex. So this is the kidney here. This is the adrenal cortex. It is two part. This is the cortex. This is the adrenal gland. This is the adrenal cortex. This is the adrenal medulla. The mineralocorticoids are mostly formed from the adrenal cortex. This is the zona glomerulosa and the glucocorticoids are mostly formed from the adrenal cortex from the zona fasciculata. The glucocorticoids are the cortisol, prednisone, triamcinolone, dexamethasone, baclomethasone, budisonide, methyl prednisone. Mineralocorticoids are aldosterone, deoxycorticosterone, and fluido Cortisone. The corticosteroids can be applied in many ways. So the route of administration include intravenous, intramuscular, erythral like inhalation, oral as pill, topical like cream or ointment. It may be used in many ways. There are many ways of administration. Glucocorticoid have the most therapeutic uses. So in our discussion, what we are discussing, the use is mostly from the glucocorticoids. Okay, so let's go there. The uses of the corticosteroid replacement therapy. For primary adrenocortical insufficiency, there is the addition disease. Hydrocortisone used to treat Addisonian crisis. Chronic treatment of addition disease need both glucocorticoid, that is hydrocortisone, and mineralocorticoid, that is the fludrocortisone. Replacement therapy for secondary or tertiary adenocortical insufficiency. Hydrocortisone is used to treat these deficiencies. Diagnosis of Cushing syndrome by dexamethasone suppression test. Replacement therapy for congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Choices of replacement depends on the specific enzyme defect. Relief of inflammatory symptoms like rheumatoid arthritis, bursitis, there is inflammation of the bursa. Systemic lupus erythematosus, also called SLE. Other autoimmune diseases, bronchial asthma, nephrotic syndrome, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease. These two are called chronic inflammatory bowel disease and ocular inflammation, especially the inflammation of the iris or the uveal tract like iris, choroid, and ciliary body that is managed by steroid. Therapeutic uses continued. Treatment of life threatening shock by methylprednisone and hydrocortisone. Treatment of allergies by baclomethasone and triamcinolone. Glucocorticoids can reduce organ or graft rejection. So, glucocorticoid is used in the way to reject to to reduce the organ or graft rejection so after getting an organ or graft patient should be on glucocorticoid to prevent rejection sarcoidosis is a chronic granulomatous disease we have a lot of granuloma but without cagation it may affect any organ sarcoidosis it is of unknown cause Sarcoidosis is treated, you can say managed by corticosteroid. It is 
incurable disease, but it can be managed by corticosteroid, especially the glucocorticoids. Skin diseases, again, most of the, of the therapeutic uses are done by the glucocorticoids. Skin diseases like eczema, psoriasis is managed by glucocorticoids. Idiopathic nephrosis in children, again treatment by glucocorticoid. Neuromuscular disorder like myasthenia gravis, there is some antibody forming the postsynaptic receptors. The myasthenia gravis is managed by glucocorticoids. Bell's palsy, that is the paralysis of the facial nerve. Lower motor neuron paralysis of the facial nerve, that is treated you can say managed by glucocorticoid. Adrenocortical hyperplasia, that is also treated by glucocorticoid. Acceleration of fetal lung maturation, it is done by beclomethacin. Ideally, before the delivery of the baby, around 48 hours, we give the beclomethacin. Again, another dose is given to the mother just 24 hours before delivery of the baby. That will stimulate the pneumocyte type 2 cell or alveolar type 2 cell to produce surfactant. Then malignant diseases like leukemia, the cancer of the white blood cell and lymphocyte derived tumor like lymphoma, Hodgkin's lymphoma, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma that is also managed by the corticosteroids, especially the glucocorticoids. So most of the use are by the glucocorticoids. And that's all of, about the therapeutic uses of the corticosteroid, mostly the glucocorticoids. So it is useful for all organs of our body, from eye, from the skin, the lung, from the intestine, from the, to the kidney, joints, everywhere we can use therapeutically and will get the benefit from the corticosteroid. And that's all for today. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. Please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Have a nice, wonderful and blessed day. Bye now.